Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be what I melted and burned in the last couple of weeks. We did move locations. We are in my dining room. It is still a work in progress. My tripod is too tall. And then even on like the shorter setting, it's also too tall. So you're like balanced on some candles right now. Hopefully they stay. But anyway, I am... Um, Working it out, if I like this lighting, if I like this setup, I do love sitting in this, like, um, taller back seat with a table. I have my laptop here in front of me and my drink, so I have everything here, and it kind of feels more like I'm sitting here talking to my friends. Like, I'm at a table, I have you guys here, I have all my candles ready to share, so we will see if this works. Let me know if you like this setup down below. Again, still tweaking a little bit of the imperfections. Um, I am getting a new chandelier in the next couple weeks too, so that'll be changed. But anyway, you're here to see what I burned and what I melted in these last couple weeks, and I am full-on fall. There might be a couple summary things left that I was just working on finishing up, but for the most part, this is a bin full of fall goodness. It is totally fall in my house, and I am ready. I'm beyond ready. I'm currently burning one of my all-time favorite candles. This is my last fall candle from the Yankee Candle Elevation Collection in Tonka Bean and Pumpkin. I've been burning this. This I used to buy all the time, every year. This line has been discontinued. They changed the jar format, but I think that's also been discontinued. But this scent is so great. It is like a warm, vanilla, roasty pumpkin without any of the spice. It's just more like a vanilla Tonka forward fragrance. I love that. If you can find it at an outlet, discount Facebook Marketplace, if you can find the Tonka Bean and Pumpkin Candle from Yankee, pick it up. It is one of my favorites. And anyway, I'm going to separate the candles first, and then we will get into what I melted. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, not as many candles as I thought I finished up, but it goes with the course. Anyway, let's start with the biggest disappointments of the week, and it is Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun from Bath & Body Works. I finished two of these. I actually have these, like, lampshades on my dining room table that I got from Bath & Body Works this year, like, around the spring. I love them. You drop the candle in there, burns the candle down. You don't have to worry about your surface getting hot. It's ventilated at the bottom. I just love this. And as the candle burns down, beautiful cast glow on your walls. I love it. I have two of them, one on each end. I love that holder. But this candle, it literally, it smelled so good on cold in the store. Warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. It smelled like the most gluey, gluey, gooey, vanilla frosted cinnamon bun. There's no pumpkin in this at all, but it's just this rich vanilla frosting, cinnamon, sweet, gooey fragrance. And when I lit it the first burn, super high flames, I had to blow it out after like an hour, lit it again, same thing. And then by the halfway point, it was scorched, it was burnt, and it smelled like burning plastic. And it makes me so sad because this happens with so many bakery candles from Bath & Body Works is they get this burning smell after the halfway point. But I do love this scent. And I think if I pick it up again, it's just going to go directly into the candle crock. I did move my candle crock into the kitchen because I feel like when I'm ready for fall candles to be over, it's just like a nice warm scent going in the kitchen. So I did move the candle crock into the kitchen. I only have one so far. All the other ones have like these horrible religious quotes on them. I would never want that in my house. And like, just, ugh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Like, I just want a plain candle crock. But anyway, this scent, I wish it was better. So, um, on burning. So I might just throw that in a candle crock next time. This also went into the candle crock. Pumpkin pecan waffles from last year or two years ago? Maybe last year. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. It smells so great, but when you burn this, again, it has this really awful burning smell towards the halfway point that it's literally, you can see probably from the shadow, it's right to here. I just threw this in the candle crock for a couple days and let it burn, like let it just melt. And again, learn my lesson with the bakery scents. They're just going to go full on 
fresh candle into the candle crock so I can get that melted, really great wax enjoyment out of them. I finished this guy, Cypress and Amber. This was from the Neutrals collection last year. This is Dark Cypress Smoked Amber and Fresh Bergamot. Just like everybody else says, it smells like a mix of flannel and marshmallow fireside, which are two of one of my two of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works in the fall. This had virtually no smell when I lit it though. And I burned this entire candle in my office. And from first burn to last, I got no scent. Again, by the halfway point, it just fizzled out and got puny wicks. So I just let it finish its life and it didn't scent the whole time. And then last, well, last three wick Bath and Body Works is Pumpkin Vanilla Cream. I don't even know why I bought this. You can see, yeah, you can see right here. It's right to here. This, it smells like corn chips. So bizarre. Creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. It should be this rich, warm, delicious vanilla bakery. And I don't know if it's the graham cracker crust that's throwing this one off, but it really smells like, like corn chips or like Fritos. Well, those are corn chips, right? So bizarre. I don't know why. Even the ones this year, I went and sniffed them, and it's the same. Like, it smells like corn chips. So I don't know why they can't figure out pumpkin vanilla cream and why it has that scent to it, but it does. And then I finished a cinnamon spiced vanilla in the mason jar single wick. And this actually did pretty well. It did burn the entire time, and then I was like, oh, it's almost done. I'll let it burn itself out. And it did burn itself out, but I looked in the morning and the wick was totally shifted at the last little bit. But I like the scent. Fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and vanilla bean. Obviously, it wasn't super strong. It was just a single wick. I mainly use these as ambiance candles. So I enjoy these. I get these free with, with rewards because they're, well, this is $15.50. They're $15.95 now for the mason jar single wicks. And you can redeem them for free because I don't need any more shower gels or wallflower, wallflower plugs. I am like stocked up. I don't need any more of those. So I've been getting some single wicks to burn as ambiance candles. And then as far as like other brands, I finished from one of my favorites, 1820 Co. I finished her roasted coffee bean. I actually just bought a bunch of new candles from her. So super excited to burn those. Again, clean burn all the way down. These are made in East Palestine, Ohio, which if you're like, wait, that name sounds familiar. It's because East Palestine had the um, horrible train derailment over the summer that they're recovering from. But all of her candles are hand poured in East Palestine. I visit her shop a couple times a year, and I did my big fall stock up over the weekend, which I will film that haul. Super excited. I have some like little minis there on display that are cute. Um, and then there's one up here. I don't know if you can see. But I love her fragrances. I love her candles. The way that these burn are so clean. The residue on the side is just natural from the plant-based soy wax that she uses. But they burn down so clean. And the wax pools are so beautiful and almost, like, calming from her wax. Like, I love the way that they burn. And the roasted coffee bean, I did this entire candle in my kitchen. Perfect, sweet, roasty coffee scent. I love it. I finished... My last Woodwick candle in my collection in Humidor. I really like the scent, but I don't enjoy Woodwick candles. This had a very light scent throw for being such a strong fragrance. And the residue towards like the last uh, third of the wax, I will say. And Woodwick candles never really get like a full wax pool, but they do burn down, which is interesting. Like you don't ever get like a deep wax pool. It looks like it's going to tunnel, but it never does because it, like, catches up because it's an hourglass shape. But this is, like, a sweet cherry tobacco cigar smell. I really like the fragrance, and I think I'm going to clean this out, peel this off, and use this as, like, a flower vase. I really enjoy the jar itself. And then as far as Kringle goes, I finished a three wick in Macintosh. Uh, their three wicks are, like, none to be messed with. They are perfection. Look at the painted jar all the way around those apples. And the notes are apple, pear, pineapple, jasmine, rose, musk, and vanilla. It smells just like a crisp Macintosh apple. I was burning this in my bedroom its entire time. So strong, like an eight or nine out of 10. And it just burns hot, like not high flames, but like a normal, 
normal size flame the entire way down, strong performance. And I am a Kringle Candle ambassador. Again, I'm an ambassador because I love their fragrances. I, I recommend the brand and I work with the brand because I enjoy the fragrances so much and the burn. Like they're so great. I can't recommend them enough. Perfection every time. I finished Sugar Pumpkins from Kringle. Now, yes, there's a little bit of soot here because I just let the candles burn until they're completely done. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I do. Look at that. Nothing left. Great flames the entire time. I love the scent of this Sugar Pumpkins. There's no description on this, but it is like a gooey, rich, sweet vanilla pumpkin. Like what the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Vanilla Cream should be like. It's just so good. Love Sugar Pumpkins. And then I did Gourd Jess, and I also burned this until there was nothing left. And this is like their take on a pumpkin spice latte. Very light, roasted, creamy espresso fragrance, but it's not a coffee forward. It's more the spices of a pumpkin spice latte. The nutmeg, the cinnamon, the cardamom, the ginger. It's like those real rich, nutty fragrances. It is beautiful, and I love the label on this, how it looks like it's like a painted canvas. It's beautiful. I love this. It smells so good. And again, if you use my code, DrewYawk15, it will save you 15% off on the Kringle Candles. They are so great. All right, so now let's move on to the wax. I did a decent amount of wax. I'm actually just going to dump and go. Oh, super exciting. I finished an oil an awesome apple. I actually moved my oils to my kitchen. I have a diffuser there and I'm not purchasing any new oils until I use them up. I used to buy oils all the time and then I like rarely use them. So it's my goal to use up the oils. And this was really nice. This is like a cinnamon, vanilla, rich, roasty fall apple. I really enjoy this. And a few drops instantly scents. Like you fill it with water, you put your oils in, turn it on, and it fills your house, your room, not your house, your room so quickly and consistently. I have, I have the premium diffuser too, but I enjoy the deluxe more. It just performs for like over 24 hours. It's incredible. And this really strong. So really like that oil. Speaking of scents that I really like, listen, I can't even talk about this because I have said for years, this is okay. I don't really like it. Well, I decided, you know what? It was a very cool, cool morning and I cracked open the windows and I was like, what am I in the mood to melt for in my room? I want something fruity, but I don't want like fall or summer. I was like, I don't know what I want. So I did winter berry apple tea. I know everybody loves this. And for years, I've bought it, and I've melted it, and it was okay in my living room, my old apartment. This, days and days and days and days in my bedroom, in my Azizas. I have two Azizas in my bedroom, one on each end of my dresser. My TV's in the middle. This was so good. This was a spiced apple tea with some berries. I was blown away by the performance of winterberry apple tea when I melted it. This is an older clam too because it gets like yellow. So I don't know if they just really need to sit, but I'm ordering a six pack and just in my next order and just letting them sit because uh, I love this and it's going to go in my club at the end of the year. I can't believe I'm saying that. Everybody loves it. And I was like, it's just okay. I didn't understand the hype. I don't know if it's just going to be a bedroom scent for me. Either way, this is perfection. And every time I went into my bedroom, I was like, it smells so good in here. And it was winterberry apple tea. Shook. I will tell you, shook. Next, I did, oh, let's talk about great, great performers. Perfect day. Now, this is one I know a lot of people don't care for, and I absolutely love it. And it's back in the catalog this year. This is like a crisp, fresh pear. This is like a pear, like a crisp pear drink. Like a, what, what was it called? A pear margarita? Like a pear margarita? It smells like a fresh, crisp pear drink. And I did this in my bedroom days and days and days. And I loved it. Obsessed. Every single time I melted this, I loved it. And it was so strong. 
and it lasted for days. If you like pear scents, this is a crisp, fresh pear. It will be going into my club at the end of the season because I think this is an even better – it's a great scent for fall when you're like sick of the heavy pumpkins and apples and spices and you want to change it up and do something different. This is great like a nose palette clearer because it is so different and it was so strong. Oh, here's a little summary scent that I did. Cherry vanilla. I did two bars of cherry vanilla. And I like this. It's in my club. I was shocked. This is from a Bring Back My Bar. It was very sweet, artificial, like maraschino cherry over vanilla ice cream. Like just a vanilla ice cream sundae with those maraschino cherries and like the cherry syrup. Really, really nice. Really yummy. Really strong. I think this was like... A really warm day, and I just wanted something strong. Now, one, I know I have two. Yeah. I swear I heard somebody else say this too. These are older bars. No, these are not older bars. These are bars from um, the flash sale. Breakfast in bed. What happened to this? It used to be so great, like a really rich berry filled pastry, like a sweet, blackberry filled pastry dessert with like cinnamon sugar crust on top. I couldn't smell this at all. No air condition. The windows weren't even open. And I did it in my kitchen, dining room and living room. And I couldn't even smell it. Breakfast in bed. This used to be so strong. And now I don't smell anything. I have one more bar. I'm going to save it, let it sit for a while and melt it in my bedroom and see if that does any better. Next, I did Buckleberry, which is a very old Bring Back My Bar. I love this. This is like a fruity, warm jam. It has a very interesting twist to it, which I think is the Buckleberry. It's like a tart, rich, sweet jam. I did this in my bedroom. Really strong. Didn't last as long as the Perfect Day and the Winterberry Apple Tea. It lasted a couple days. And I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I like those jammy fragrances, those rich, jammy, fruity scents. Like Bath & Body Works Harvest Pomegranate that's out right now, I really like that. It's like a fruity jam scent. I did – I'm going to do one of these. Oh, yes, because I did it in my office. The new scent of the month for September, Frosted Cinnamon Roll. I really like this. And like everybody says, it's like caramel pumpkin swirl with an emphasis on the vanilla sugar, like – sweet icing fragrance, and it's so good. I don't know if it's going to go in my club. I want to melt through the rest of the bars that I have before I decide, but I really enjoy it. If you like cinnamon sugar, if you like bakery, yeasty scents, I know there's not a ton of bakery scents this year in the Scentsy catalog. Hopefully with the LTOs and such, we will get more, but for right now, this is great. It comes with the witches, or it doesn't come with it, but the scent of the month is Frosted Cinnamon Roll and the Little Witch, the Wicked Cute Warmer. Those are available this month only for 10% off. Or you can just do a bundle and save and get the bar and get five bars, get one free. Again, my Scentsy link will be down below, but I really like this. Another scent that everybody loves that I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. Bonfire Beach. This is great. This is like a toasted marshmallow, a little bit woodsy. Salty Sea Air scent. It was great. I actually did this in my bathroom of all scents, of all places, and I really enjoyed it the entire time. I don't know if it was it in my club or not. I might have last minute added it to my club because I do enjoy it, but there are favorite scents for a reason. I did, speaking of favorite scents, I did four bars, I know, crazy, right? Of buzzworthy i am one of those crazy people that absolutely loves buzzworthy this is a super rich thick honeycomb sweet honey bakery scent if you like honey scents which i know not everybody does and you want the strongest scentsy scent ever it's buzzworthy i actually cleaned all the warmers it was a very very hot day and i had the air condition blasting because i was like i can't stand it and i want something really strong with the air condition so i was like i'm pulling out some buzzworthy bars i have so many of them that i need to melt through i got these in the facebook black market and um i have like i have like 40 no joke so i'm like i need to melt some so i just every warmer loaded up buzzworthy for a couple days 
It was incredible. Next, I did Jade and Jasmine. I really like this. This is like a perfumey cologne. More like a cologne fragrance, like a fresh body wash, like a fresh men's body wash. And I know that's like, that's how you describe a lot of scents, but that's what it smells like to me, like a fresh men's body wash. I enjoyed it. I did it my open concept. I say open concept. It's my living room, dining room, kitchen. So typically it takes two bars to scent that space, but it was really great. I did Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin. Um, not as great as I wanted it to be. I thought it was better last year. I, I don't know if it's because it's sat, but it does have a little odd note now that I smell it. But I hear that a lot of people are comparing the scent of the month for October, which is Cashmere Pumpkin. Listen, if you love pumpkin warmers and you're sad that Enchanted Pumpkin didn't come back again this year, stay tuned for the October warmer of the month. It's on its way to me, as well as the scent, because I have to have it. It's another pumpkin warmer. And... I love all things pumpkin and all things pumpkin warmers. So cashmere pumpkin, I hear, is very similar to this. I'm so excited to melt that. This I know I got in like one of those bundles. Sugared cherry. I like this. Like a cherry pastry, but less pastry. I wish it had more pastry, but it was pleasant. It was enjoyable. Very peri pumpkin. I know a lot of people don't care for this. I really like it. It's like a sweet... Pumpkin with a juicy pear. I know people say, what, it smells like baby vomit? Something like that. Like, really, really off-putting. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was really yummy. It's not club-worthy for me, but it was something different to melt. And it was great. I have this going in my warmers now. I don't know how I feel about it. White Pumpkin and Driftwood. This is part of the Harvest Collection that's out currently right now. It's heavy, and it's heavy in my bedroom. Now, I like my bedroom very cold. I actually have a window air conditioner on top of the AC in there because I like it like ice cold. And even with the AC on, it smells like it's heavy in the air. Like, I can't understand what this is, and I wish I did. And as weird as it is, I almost get like a kettle corn or like a popcorn note. But not a buttered popcorn, like a roasted corn scent. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's something that I have to figure out. And it's funny because it's called White Pumpkin and Driftwood. And Bath and Body Works White Pumpkin, I'm having the same problem with this year. I have the three wick and I have a single wick. I never think of it. Like, it's never like, oh, I want to burn White Pumpkin. People love it, though. They love the hand soap. They love the wallflowers. Like, people love that scent. I see people get it all the time. People talk about it online all the time. I don't know what it is. I don't know. So we'll see. It's going right now in my bedroom. It's a couple days in, and I'm just, I don't know. So chances are it's not going to go in my club or get reordered, but I want to. I want to like it more. And then a random Zape from like two years ago, Poison Apple. I did this because I pulled out like a wax drawer and I had a lot of Zape that were like getting really old. And I'm like, I got to use these up. Crisp Red Apple, Sweet Pumpkin, Fall Pastries, and Sleeping Potion. It's actually a really great apple scent. A very strong sweet apple. Didn't last long though. Just like all vendor wax, it's like pretty much done after a couple hours. And like, look at the label started to turn all yellow. Um, Zape was sold. Someone else owns it now. I don't know. I, I don't order from vendors anymore. So we shall see. But anyway, that was what I finished and melted and burned for the last couple weeks. Let me know. Are you excited for fall? I know uh, my Sensi customers who placed orders for me, they are on their way. A couple of them shipped and a couple of them are in the printed stage. So they are coming. My harvest collection will be here tomorrow and I will do an unboxing and get that video up ASAP because I am excited to melt these new scents and to get these new warmers. And I have the Scarecrow Warmer. I have the Scent Warmer of the Month. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. So I got the new Christmas Collection Early Access, the Breast Cancer Awareness Access. I'm just waiting for those things to come into the mail. And as soon as they do, I will share them with you guys. But as always, make it a better world. Thank you guys for stopping by. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world, and I'll see you soon. Be kind. Bye, guys.